I've got a Nintendo 64. Gentlemen, this is... What's up everyone, it's Adam from FWCI. Welcome back to the channel and today I'm having a look at Auntie Donna Grieving Can Be Fun? Is the name of this video, so this should be pretty interesting. Um, I don't know what to expect with this. It's another uh, reasonably long one, it's a four and a half minutes, so let's see what we're gonna get. Also, if you guys haven't seen the uh, ball games at lunch, go have a look. And let me know if you think it's Glenn Robbins playing the role of the, the legendary Mr. Freddy. All right, let's have a look at Grieving Can Be Fun. <laughs> That's definitely my favorite Fortnite dance compilation. But today we're gonna talk about a more serious <laughs> subject. Is it how to beat the big boss in my favorite video game? Oh, is this like a <laughs> nah, video? can't help you there. Whoa, um, I thought we were talking about grief today, like, not Fortnite. Yeah, Wait like, a I second, don't think so. grief. Uh, isn't that something I pour on top of my chips with cheese? <laughs> nah, that's gravy lane brain. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm so, these guys are so relatable. <laughs> Look how cool and like relatable they are. <laughs> Look, I might have had one too many virgin peaches on the beaches, but aren't there ways to deal with your grief? <laughs> there sure are. And grief doesn't have to be sad either. It can be fun like the latest Marvel movie. So strap in, guys. Today is going to be freaking wild. I'm wondering when this came out. Oh, as you find it, episode 872. <laughs> Coming up in today's episode, we'll be exploring all the cool ways that you can explore cool grief. Is this thing on? <laughs> Jokes aside, grieving can be kind of tough. For example, when I was 22 years old, I lost my best friend when he was executed by the state of Indonesia for drug trafficking. Fuck, okay, no. That's lame. Lamer than Thanos. <laughs> Tell me about it. What do you think, Cartman from South Park? I love cheesy poofs and chocolate salted sweets. But when my <laughs> best friend Kenny dies, I deal with my grief by saying, ma'am. Yo, Mark, can you chuck me a Diet Cola? It's my favorite sometimes food. Sure thing, man. I love sugary drinks too, in moderation. So my mum just died last week and I think I'm grieving. How do you guys deal with your grief? Well, I like to get stuck into my favorite video game. Is it Fortnite? No, duh, Sherlock. <laughs> I'm a comedy buff. So I chuck on my favorite episode of Jay Leno. I turn to drugs Ooh. and alcohol, which Ooh. is a really uncool, unhealthy way to deal with your emotions. What about you, Mark Bonanno? How to deal with your grief? I'm a little bit of a wild one. I don't give a stuff what people think about me. I just like to scream at the top of my lungs. Come on, Haley, give it a go with me. Ah! <laughs> wow, that's a pretty cool grieving. Cool work. Bear in mind, this advice is anecdotal and is best coupled with professional counselling uh. or the support of your general health practitioner. Everyone feels grief! <laughs> I miss uh. my bone. This is how they deal with grief in Italy. Mamma mia! <laughs> So I actually thought grief was kind of bogus, but you know what? It's kind of radical. And I learned that when someone's dead, you can keep their memory alive through the medium of music. And I learned going to counsellor is for losers. Um, hold the phone. You don't think going to the counsellor is cool? How come, Peter oh. Hellier? I just don't think it's cool <laughs> at all. Oh, nuts. I don't think it's cool. I think it's cool. What? Opera Gangnam Style. Wow. 
Wow. <laughs> wow, that was, uh, how interesting that was. Okay, so, um, I'm sure they get them all over the world. In Australia, when I was growing up anyway, we used to get these, like, commercials on TV that were always, like, uh, it's supposed to be like inspiring, motivating things. They were always from, I think they were like a low key, like trying to recruit for like the church, but they were always from the Christian Television Association. And there were, it was some like really badly acted, like public service announcement that clearly didn't cost too much. My favorite of all of them was my main man, DC Talk, in case you don't fucking recognize, with the three most hippest motherfuckers of all times, Toby, Toby Mac, who provides the rap to this posse G. G. My name talk is Kevin, about Kevin K. Because I give it the rock that it needs, and it's my Tate, because I'm bringing the soul to this party. And together that makes rap rock and soul, DC Talk. I must have seen that ad a million times in my childhood. It was on every single goddamn afternoon after school on TV every time, but it was just gave me vibes of that. And if you're Aussie and you're like in your thirties, you will definitely remember DC talk, which I will uh, chuck at the end of this video as well, a little snippet of it. Um, but that video was uh, was great. I really enjoyed um, the campiness of it and just the, the, the cheapness and the, again, that kind of amateur thing. But that whole joke and that whole style really felt at home with this sketch because, like I say, these public service things that they give to kids to watch and stuff to help them with whatever, they are legitimately really lame like this one here. They just took it to a whole nother level. So let me know what you thought in the comments. Was this one of your favorite sketches? I honestly thought it was gonna get a lot darker than it did. I'm not I'm glad that they kept it light, but I was uh, surprised that they managed to keep it Pretty, uh, pretty chilled out and pretty, pretty light. Given that the title of it sounds like it could be something that's ripe for, uh, you know, a bit of a um, the shock treatment. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. And as always, be well, stay safe, look after your friends, and see you in the next video. Peace. Christian lifestyle is not what people think. Yeah. People think it's like a boxed up kind of life where you, go you to can't church, do this, like you, this you can't do time, that. That's not it, man. It's a freedom. Mm -hmm. It's it's a freedom in Christ. <laughs> For the dope or the meat or the ray or the dough's gotta stay Cause I can't, no I can't take a